So from where you were, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like 10 pounds yes. to today. So congratulations. Great job. Yeah, it's awesome. And what we want to look at is rather than, you know, when people lose weight, it's very important that we focus on how much and where the weight came from. Okay. So this breaks down your water, it breaks down your muscle, and it breaks down the body fat itself into three different numbers. Here's okay. FFM, and uh, what that stands for is free fat mass. Easiest way to look at that is muscle. So the muscle number, and then we're going to look at fat mass. And the reason muscle tissue is so important is because it's very, um, it's important for us to focus on the amount of muscle you have in your body. The number one concern I have with most women is they don't carry enough. And as we get older, uh, if we don't have enough muscle mass, you lose calcium. And that's where osteopenia and osteoporosis, the onset starts. But usually people catch it way too late. Oh, so we want more muscle. Yes, that means more weight, but we'll be losing fat mass. So it'll balance itself out. Because okay. remember, it counts how your clothes fit, right? Exactly. Not the numbers. <laughs> So, and with your 10 pound loss, you've actually lost 3% of fat. So if we take a look at what fat looks like, this is five pounds. There's two different types of fat. There's subcutaneous, which you can pinch. People always say like, oh, I need to lose this. Okay. I'm worried about the stuff that's inside near your organs. It's called visceral fat. Okay. And you've actually lost 3% since you started. And why that's important is because you've lost 10 pounds. If you had only lost 1% with that 10 pounds, you would have had a lot, you would have lost a lot of water and muscle. And that's where a lot of diets go wrong is they focus on the number and by cutting calories, you lose water and muscle, you know, you lose that water and muscle tissue, not fat mass. The fat cells you have, you're born with, there are certain instances with pregnancy and some things where we can change, but okay. for our purpose of today, the fat cells you have were born with, they only increase and decrease in size. Okay. So we want to decrease, we want to make sure that we're losing not only visceral, visceral fat, but subcutaneous so that as you work out, you get to see definition, and you get to see the changes in how your body composition goes. If you're working out with a trainer and starting weights, you will gain muscle, and you will lose this. If you gained five pounds of muscle, lost five pounds of fat, the scale would say zero change. But I'm betting that your clothes would fit much looser.